Hello guys, welcome. My name is Flo. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to this reading. Happy birthday to the Libras. Um, thanks for liking, sharing, subscribing, and um, booking private readings. The link is in my about section in the description box. And I hold spiritual gifted classes. You guys can look into that. Um, I post about everything I do. You can check my Instagram or my YouTube.com slash The Real Florina Kaya. And this is a reading for Libra. Happy birthday to the Libras. Love and light to everybody. I hope everybody's feeling good. Yeah, um, the real sound, the real sound, a sister, I'm just going to say to you, a lot of people are texting me something personal and sending me crazy messages. I don't know exactly what's going on, but I, I just feel like people are starting to um, get a little too personal with me. And um, I, I, I really, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> this afternoon, this morning, I got a message and was, she, one girl was like, I don't know if you treat everybody like this, but you need to pay attention to me. My life is serious. Okay, <laughs> that's nice. Yeah, I'm not about to start feeling bad for people who, I, I can't be everywhere at once. I have shit to do. Sorry, you know, no, I'm so sorry. I'm not trying to be rude, but I guess the Libra in me is like, bitch, handle it yourself. Like, fuck. I'm not here to save the world. I'm here to help people that want it, help themselves, right? What's up, Kels? Like, ain't nobody got time for that. You want a private session with me? You can book a private session. This is not, um, Flo is the free whatever, because she has a good heart. Let me just hit her up and ask her a million questions. Book a private reading or join my spiritual classes. And if you don't, you can't afford it, then, then watch my free videos and stay there. But stop sending me text messages or, not text messages, emails. DMs talking about, I need your help. Help me. I need you to read me. Read me. Look, man. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> what do you think? Do you think people are put here to heal you? No, they're, they're here to guide you to heal yourself. Okay? Some people will take advantage. They do. Not, they, they really do take advantage. I will answer people's DMs, private messages, emails. I stopped doing that because they're getting too personal with me. Right? Enough is enough. Like, for real. Like, I'm not about to do this. And I'm going to just say this really quickly. Um, Before I started your reading, Libra, I'm going to tell you what I saw. Um, Two things happen. Now, I can't stand stink bugs, right? Like, it's not that I can't stand them. They just, they look so weird. They're like little alien bugs. And I'm, and I'm looking at my window and I was like, ooh, stink bugs. And like, I usually, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I like squish them, which I'm not going to do that anymore. When I looked up the spiritual meaning of them and the animal spirit book I had, um, they, they are for protection. They're actually bringing you a message spirit guides through them for protection. Okay. Um, um, people don't value readers. They get demanding. I feel you. Good morning. Well, it's not, you know, it's what it is, is they think cause you're a reader that now you just have to like be available to them. That's not how it works. That's why I put out plenty of free videos for people to watch. And that's why I say, come be a part of my spiritual healing classes. And if you can't afford $40 a class, then you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Watch the free videos. You know, if you want to book a private reading, which will be all about learning about yourself, then fine. Let's not make this about me, though. And it's not about me. This is about the collective, about the Libra energy. I have a lot of Libra in my chart, and Libras ain't got time for it, okay? They just want to move on, but like I was saying, and I'm looking at this Libra. So right now, you have a lot of spiritual protection coming around you. Also, um, scents, like scents and smells like sage, I'm hearing for some of you, um, you know, cleansing the space. Um, like it, a lot of people are going to be drawn to you right now. It's like you're, you're flourishing in a way. I feel like your, your energy is uplifting in a way, whatever down feeling you've been having. Now it's flourishing in a way. Maybe you're traveling, you're doing stuff like this. And you're finally like at that point where you're just, um, you're living for you, you know, like even if you were thinking you were living for you before, maybe, this is really your time to live for you. And also another thing I saw was a yellow-bellied um, merb, 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 I forgot what it's called. Yellow-bellied merb, hold on one second. Yellow-bellied, oh, okay, wall, uh, wobbler. 
a yellow belly wobbler twice came on the tree and was like sitting right there and I looked that up and I said you have something to share you haven't been recognized for the things that you've been wanting to be recognized for you're ready to like sing your song to the world you're ready to um get out there <clears throat> be seen be social so that's two messages for you guys before I started this <clears throat> this reading so open light to you guys and let's begin the reading Happy birthday to anybody who's a Libra or whose birthday is going to be coming up. Um, Kels, when is yours again? 9.30, right? Oh, that's right. It's right around the corner. All right. So I am authentic. I am open, Libra. That's your, um, that's your affirmations. I am authentic and I am open. I live my truth and my genuine nature is valued. I was just talking about that. My heart and mind have no boundaries. I was just saying that you don't, you might not feel valued in, in relationships, in situations. Hi, Maneri. In situations, um, you might not feel valued, okay? Uh, all right, guys, let's continue this. So I really just feel this um, energy for Libra, like, Um, you have some specific talents or gifts that you really don't like know how to pull out of you yet. It's like, you know, for a fact that they're here, you know, that they, they will serve your highest good, but you can't seem to like concentrate on that specific gift. And like, you just do, it's like, I'm just going to say I'm hearing this. You just do what's best for you financially and and you know there's more there. You see what I'm saying? There's more there. And there's like this light and there's this side of you that's like so energetic, so out there and so into it. So, you know, there's like different aspects of your being I'm seeing here, like really strongly here with the Seven of Wands and the Queen of Cups. You see what I'm saying? It's like that femininity energy and the, the masculine all together right there. I feel like something like within you wants to come out there. You see what I'm saying? This is the side. Like I'm seeing this in you, Libra. You have this like, it's like a whirlwind of I, I like, you know, who you are, you are who you are, but there's like a part of you that kind of gives this like, um, yeah, yo, it's like a, I know, I know I have like specific talents or gifts. I know it, but I like, why can't I just like find it? Like, it's like, I'm, I'm crawling through. I, I see somebody like crawling through out I, and I hate to say it like this, but I see somebody crawling, you know, oh, okay. But it's in a good way. Okay. So it's like crawling out of like a grave type of thing. Like, well, you know, you ever like, okay. So in the movies, like you see somebody gets buried, actually kill bill is the scene I'm seeing and she gets buried alive and then she's in the coffin she stays real steady and real calm real peaceful and then she starts punching the thing open and she crawls her way out it's like you've been buried alive before but you've crawled your way out is how i'm gonna say like what i'm trying to say is people have tried to bury you many times but you crawled your way out you feel me that's what i'm trying to say so it's like you're not gonna allow that and this time around i'm gonna say one thing Getting around people that are authentic will be very important for you right now, Libra, especially when it comes to love matters. Um, I feel like for a lot of you, you might have had like um, some experiences with lovers that might have used you a little bit. I'm hearing being used for money, mm -hmm. being used for their time, being used for their mm, for money. No, mm -mm -mm -mm. I feel like this is being used financially and like ugh, it's like a feeling of like they act like they like really actually they did like you but they just wanted to um like i'm seeing like somebody was broke and gassing you up for damn it and it sounds so sad for like 20 30 dollars that shit is crazy i know i've been in that situation i felt that before ugh. people like that like just you know what just be real with me like i'm a broke bitch i'm dating you because i'm broke and i want some money and maybe if you're cute enough and you do the right thing then maybe i can give you that 20 30 you know what i'm saying could you go outside they have no fear these motherfuckers stink bugs like they just stuck on that window and it has they have no fear they don't even move you could just you could bang on the whole window and look it doesn't even fucking move this motherfucker's like fucking stupid they look like little aliens yo Ooh, they're so creepy 
well, whatever. I don't know what aliens. Well, there might be those kind of aliens. Okay, anyway. Sorry. <laughs> Libra. Oh, boy. I was about to say something and my nose started itching right there. Damn, you've been like... I'm seeing somebody... Impatient. Patient. Like, impatiently or patiently waiting? Oh, boy. I fucking, I felt it. I felt it. I felt it. There is definitely a big change here with something financially. Some kind of message that's going to come into you. You're leaving. You're, you're moving something. Moving out. Moving a job. Moving situation. Something is moving out of the way for you. Something's being cleared for you, though. Um, all right, so you have this kind of, like, attitude about love, I feel like. Maybe you're not, like, open to love. Mm, could be some partners, like, more. It's more sexual connections, I'm going to say, for you. Maybe you've been feeling like you've been more sexually connected with people and not. Yeah, it's like, I'm hearing that song. Because I'm only broken hearted. Life's not over. We can start again. It's like you're... Damn, Libra. A lot of wanting to move, I'm seeing. Move away, move out. Get the fuck out of town. Get the fuck out of Dodge, just how I'm hearing it. Get, move the fuck out of town. Something is boring the living fuck out of you. You're bored. You're bored. You're not um stimulated. Even sexually, I'm going to say for some of you, it could be like sexually too. There is something here. <sighs> You're going to be offered some opportunity. This could be with like corporate job, a business opportunity, something here. Okay. All right. Three of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, the Hermit, the World. Three of Wands and the Nine of Swords. Something that you're wanting, but you're kind of like... You don't know. You don't know if you should take this opportunity. Could this be a person or a job? And I'm hearing job. Well, you've been patient for this to come in, whatever this is. And you're being offered. This is a universal gift. Like, I'm not going to say this is with people because here's the thing. Um, when it comes to relationships, I feel like the universe is telling you slow, slow. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I know you. Well, they're saying you deserve it, but you don't want it. That's how I'm, fe I'm feeling like a... You know you deserve love. Like, you don't need to live in this, like... Here's the thing. for This is how I'm seeing this. Like, for some of you, like, you're living in that, like, you have, like, materialistically everything you need. But emotionally and here in your heart, it's, it's like you're feeling, like, an emptiness. You know, something's missing, right? But here's the thing. Like, the universe is, like, if there's nothing missing, there's nothing empty, it's kind of like you want it to be that way. You're, like, it's, like, sabotaging purposely because you don't you don't but for let me just say this real quick it's not because you want to sabotage shit honestly the type types of people that have come your way especially when it comes to romantic relationships i'm hearing this very strongly very strongly i'm hearing what did i just hear dull 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 like like they have it but they don't got it you know i don't know how to explain they got it but they ain't got it so maybe they got the body, they got the everything, but they don't got the money. They don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, like um, the half in, half out type of shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like whatever offers you have received from people, it's just been like that. Like, so of course you kind of lost interest in that part of your your expression, especially when it comes to love. This um important message for you to understand oh and i was just saying that cosmic union look at that what i was just saying this is why the universe wants to bring you this is divine masculine divine feminine that you could be meeting your divine you are going to be meeting your divine counterpart here okay this is your divine counterpart let me just say this really quick i was just saying all that right the universe hasn't brought you and whoever is coming towards you they're very mysterious very um they could be very, they could be highly intuitive, highly spiritual by nature. And um, because I'm naughty by nature, not because I just heard that song for some reason. They could be naughty in the bedroom, tone, but this could be like a divine counterpart type of union. 
Um, okay. All right, all right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Do not, if anybody comes to you during this time in Mercury in retrograde, please be careful who you fuck with. Question everything. Because these motherfuckers out here during Mercury retrograde, whoever comes back to you during Mercury retrograde, this could be a person from the past <clears throat> coming in to... Tap on your little shoulder and be like, hey, remember me, 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 me. No, I don't remember you. I, I don't want to remember you because you were like the worst thing that ever happened to me. Well, no, please don't call me. No, no, please. No, 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 it's okay. <laughs> okay, apology accepted. Keep it moving, brother. Like, I don't want you to accept people until after Mercury Retrograde. Mercury Retrograde is open season. You're right. Um, German, why are you having been in the classes, bitch? Well, I'm just playing with you. I love you. Can't have class without you, but you know. That's all, folks. So I'm just going to say, I feel like because I started off the reading with Libra like that, like... Like saying, like, look, people are going to, here's the thing, here's the thing. This is a big message for you, Libra. And, you know, when I give me messages, I want it to be, like, hope and faith, but also, like, a pre-warning to you that, yeah, there will be people that will come out of the woodworks with their crazy stories and I need this and please help me with that and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you know. I'm going to just tell you right now. Just beware of these energies because motherfuckers is really out here. Yes, Cal. They're really out here. I am seeing, I just, when I was talking, if you could see my eyes went that way because I just saw someone that you haven't spoken to in a long time, like almost coming in and asking you for money. Oh, God. You know what? I can't even deal with people. Hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on, Libra, because we ain't done yet. We ain't finished yet. Okay? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, bitch. I need a cigarette for this. Oh, by the way, um, I got um, pre-rolled cigarettes. They're natural. They're natural cigarettes, and they don't have all those chemicals in it. And I got them from the Native American store. Like, we went yesterday and got them from the Native American land, and they're not, like, Newports. But they're, like, natural mint, by the way. They make them with mint leaves. And, uh, you know, tobacco and nicotine, which obviously is still not good for you, but it's not filled with a thousand billion chemicals like rat poison, so... Me, oh, me, oh, my, my. Roll cigarettes and get high, high. No, I'm just kidding. I don't get high, 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 high. All right, guys, so listen. I, I love when you start saying accents, bro. Yo, everybody in my life been saying bro. My daughter's like, bro, what the hell did I? She goes, bro, what the heck? I'm like, who's your bro? She's like, she's like, mom. I thought you said I was your best friend. I was like, yeah, I don't mean you start calling me bro and shit. What's next, bitch? She's like, no. I was like, you say it in your head, though, right? She's like, never. Anyway, so what I was saying, look at that. And I'm just going to say, Page of Pentacles. You see what I'm saying? Like, okay, so when you look at this card, if you see, she's like, she's, first of all, she's got the ram. And this could be an Aries energy. She's got, not rat poison. Yeah, regular cigarettes have rat poison in it, but this doesn't. This this, this is rolled from the Native American um, reserves. Right here, they hand roll it. That's why you see it's all like, you could tell it's hand rolled. And it's just tobacco, mint leaves, like actual mint leaves, which is, it's really minty, but it actually settles the stomach and soothes my, soothes my stomach, which I like. And it's just regular tobacco. It's it's organic tobacco. It's organic tobacco. <laughs> and the guy was like, it's organic. And I know that tobacco is not good. He was talking like that. But I think he was from like Canada or something, but he had a weird accent. And he was like, it's organic, and I know it's still tobacco, nicotine is not good, but the ones in the store, they are not good. Not good. No, no, no good. Not good whatsoever. All right. So. What I was saying was. 
it's nicotine. Nicotine's addicting. That's it. This really, I don't smoke a lot of it because it's not like, you know, it doesn't taste like a real cigarette. So it's kind of like a keeps me busy type of thing. All right. So Libra, I'm sorry because I am trying to quit. By the way, today at 3.30, I have my past life regression therapy and she's supposed to do like hypnotizing to help me quit cigarettes. We'll see if that shit works, but I'm open to it, you know? All right. So Libra, like I was saying, let me get back to your reading. <laughs> I'm seeing somebody come to you and asking you for for money. Like, okay, but here's the thing. It's not like they're going to ask you for like, it's not like $10,000. They're not going to be like, can I get $10,000? But they'll be like the type, hi, city girls. Hi, everybody. They'll be like this. It'll be like, um, all right, so somebody in the past who you helped out financially in little ways, $20 here, $10 there, coming back in to be like, maybe they're broke and they're thinking about you and they're like, you know who used to help me a lot? this person and let me text them and see if they could throw me a quick 20 30 dollars and you with your kind heart and shit knowing that first of all you ain't a broke bitch so you're like all right bro this motherfucking broke ass motherfucker and like and you just say yeah like and i don't want you to say yeah that's my that's the point here don't say yes because mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. what they not going to do what they not going to motherfucking do is take advantage of you that's what they're not going to do they're not getting it. Exa exact, exactly. No, we're not fucking giving nobody no fucking money. No, you know what? We're not even get Libra. Look, I have five placements of Libra in my chart, so I am a Libra. I'm a Libra, but I'm a, I'm a Libra with everything else in my life. My underwear gotta match my socks, and I might wear t-shirts, but everything's clean and brand new. Don't don't get it twisted, cause you see me in a t-shirt on lives and my hair like this. My hair's clean. My body's clean like a motherfucker. Go ahead and swipe some alcohol against my neck. I dare you. It's clean. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, like I'm, I'm a Libra. Vanity is something that I work with, but it's not an egotistical thing. So I'm going to tell you right now. Like, don't fuck with a Libra right now. Libras ain't about that bullshit no more. Like, they getting on... Ooh, I'm getting hit in the back of the head here. We're not about that bullshit. Like, I'm stepping into my full Libra rising ascendant energy higher self vibe which is i use that libra energy to empower me okay because you know it's the fucking libras and libras are very like when you look at a libra no they're gonna have nice clothes they're gonna have name brand stuff that's just how they are and i i use the virgo i mean to to be the humble like oh i don't want to you know go out there and show off like if I have money on me, I don't just pull it all out. I pull out like the, the five dollars out of the stack. I'm not gonna be like, look at my stack of money. I'm so cool. Like that shit is corny to me. Like don't show off corniness. But if you do shit because it makes you feel good, that's a different story. But if you do shit to make other people make you feel good, um, Libra, I'm gonna tell you right now, the ego, that's gotta go because the pridefulness of the the Libra has to be. It has to be toned down a bit sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Somebody got to, like, humble your ass. You know what I'm saying? But that that's why I want you to humble yourself. I'm telling you, you're stepping into some divine feminine energy. And what, even if you're a male and watching this and you're like, I'm not divine feminine. I'm man. I am man. Look at me. I chop the wood. I No, the fuck you don't chop wood. You fucking don't chop wood. You fucking... If we were stuck in a desert, these men these days, we would die with them. They're stupid. They don't know nothing. They're fucking nothing. <laughs> I hate to say that. Them motherfuckers won't even know how to build a goddamn tent. Like, come on, bro. Like, look at that. Oh, my God. Somebody, I'm telling you. I, you said the balance. Look at this. Look what card just came out, Kel. Look at that. You just said that. I'm telling you, divine masculine, divine feminine. Somebody's meeting their divine counterpart here. This is, but here's the thing. The divine masculine looks very androgynous to me. Like, he's almost looking like, um... Like, very divine, feminine, masculine mixed together, I feel like. The feminine, she's all about the femininity. She's she's basking in her flower, rosy energy here. And she is very in tune with her divinity in a feminine way. Hmm? I, mean, I just heard speculation. If there's speculation or somebody, like, even tries to, like, say something about you... I'm just going to say, please, at this time, Libra, there's a lot of snakes around you. Like, and I'm going to say, I'm not trying to be negative here. I'm just telling you. It's like you're free flowing. You're in this free energy. But there's a lot of like weirdos around you. Just be careful because there's ooh, creeps. Like these are like, 
you know, they're hanging on to you type of energy. Like, oh, man, please love me. Like, I'm just going to say, like, just be aware of this time and this energy because this is for October from now until the end of October, this reading for the Libras. And I feel like you need to know that at this time, you, <laughs> that's me, at this time you have you just gotta watch because there's like an ending to something it's like you're ending a cycle especially when it comes to like controlling everything and you're actually stepping into this like again cosmic union you're gonna get a cosmic union but wait it out don't rush it out under i'm telling you during mercury retrograde you do whatever you want i'm not telling you what to do here what i'm saying to you is just be aware of the energies because it feels like they could be like someone who comes in now and tries to make you believe that they're your divine masculine and I don't want you to get, get it confused. And you'll know that the person's not your divine masculine, divine feminine. They're not your perfect match or whatever, twin flame energy you want to call it, whatever you want to call it. Um, because it'll it'll remind you of like exactly mm, let's ring the bell for that one. It'll remind you of exactly what you don't want out of a person. Like at first, the first like few like a week or two, you're gonna be like, oh my god, it's so cute. <laughs> but then like you'll just see a different side to that person. And I pray that if that happens, you see it right away so that you don't have to waste your time with them, okay? Because I am feeling that. So, like, you know, let me know. It'd be like, Flo, you were right. Somebody did come in and, like, until the end of October, I'm just going to say, I would say, uh, I would wait till October 31st after Halloween. Like, you know, that's when the Day of the Dead, a day, El Dia de Muerto, and all that stuff's going to happen. So, let all that clear up. Let all the spirits transition, go through, pass through, get, you know, shape shift, do whatever they do, and then get to your um purpose here okay um i am also feeling for the libras to get in touch with your sexuality your your sexual connect with your root chakra um as i'm seeing this card right here if you just see this person it is a it looks like a woman but um it's a man <laughs> that's the strange but that's the cool part about it it's a man sitting down, but he's connecting she, he, she, he, she, she, he, divine feminine, divine masculine. This is a male woman. This is an androgynous. Yeah, look at the hands. You could tell that's not all woman, unless she's just a woman who has manly features. Um, but connect to your divin the your root chakra, because it feels like maybe you lost something in the root chakra, meaning like, First of all, this has to do with family. The root chakra has to do with family, connection to earth, mother earth, grounding, a lot of, you know, uprooting, rooting, st um, standing your ground. But also it's the root and the sacral are kind of sort of a little connected. That red fas fashion, that red fashion, you hear me? That red passionate, fiery, because I said fire and, oh, fashion, passion and fire mixed together, fashion. <laughs> like, no, not that kind of fashion. It's fire and passion. Like, connect them two together because it feels like maybe you learn, you lost a little bit of um that sexual energy like connect back to that because a lot of us have negative connotations on sexuality and here's the thing i want to explain to you that yes a lot of people sexually um can can, can use sexual energy and you know make you feel shitty about yourself and it could be a bad experience but i want you to connect um, sexually to yourself first and then see where you're at with someone else before you mix your energy with them because remember there are people that do take your energy sexually remember that okay um, hi Fatan there are people who do sexually take your energy so connect with your own sexuality you know um, and I'm, I'm gonna say this Libra touch yourself like get to know your body explore because if you've lost some some of the sexual part of yourself you maybe got in that like zone where you don't trust things sexually i i was like that for a while like it was like get the fuck i don't want nobody touching me like but i'm starting to like work with myself again and try to like figure out first of all um i am hearing this for some of you if you do struggle with sexual um desires or anything sexually it could be connected to something from when you were a child you could have had either a bad experience with someone or something sexually could have happened to you and it still affects your sexual um yeah you know i'm just gonna say it somebody was definitely either molested as a child or something like deep happened that and i'm here i'm hearing that very strongly so if that did happen to you i'm sorry i understand i've experienced it myself and that's why it, it took me a very long time to work with that shadow self 
recognize the spiritual energy first of all that not only was it in this um realm that it happened but it also happened to me in the spiritual realm where i had a spirit doing things to me when i was um about 16. so i was gonna say i know it sounds crazy but to some of you but some of you really will get it i have had um spiritual energies take advantage of me sexually and in this world too and i was an easy target and i'm not gonna be that easy target no more and sometimes sexually that can affect you is what i'm gonna say that i'm just saying that okay I'm saying I'm saying that because somebody could be like sexually disturbed because of what happened to them growing up in whatever way. And it's like be courageous and and I'm going to say I'm hearing this very strongly stand up to that um energy. You just saw an orb stand up to that energy, really stand up to that energy. Um because you know there's like a right now I'm going to say because Mercury's in retrograde um yeah, Prieta, it is. It is. Hi, Tony. So, you know, it's interesting that Tony just walked in. You know, being a Reiki person, I guess he's uh, he does Reiki. And I, I also do Reiki, but I'm totally different style Reiki person. I just go with whatever spirit guides tell me. Working with your sacral chakra will help to heal any sexual abuse that you've experienced in your past and, and remembering that not everybody is a piece of shit not everybody's taking advantage of you there are people who actually will love you and be tender with you and care for you and love you and guide you in this life um opening up your heart to love open up your heart chakra and your sacral chakra will be so important for you and connecting to your root chakra i'm really feeling that for a lot of you here okay um so libra i want you to know something that i really am also hearing strongly um in this past like few months you have been feeling like you're like maybe just like tired of like doing the same thing repetitive like you know broken record energy like doing things over and over again switch it up a little bit you know like i am i'm working on switching things up too i love doing tarot i'm gonna continue to do this on on the side but i'm totally stepping into my power and, and i'm figuring out my gift my actual gift so whether that be being just a medium or a, i'm not just a medium just a channeler i'm all of it at once so i'm trying to figure out how to bring all of it together to create the beauty that i want okay so i'm pulling the regular tower for you guys libra too if it's your birthday happy birthday this is a pretty long reading for you guys love and light um reiki is energy healing yes it's energy uh, reiki is energy healing that's when um we have seven chakras and it's funny because when we see the seven chakras and we look at the seven levels of ascension right there's seven levels of ascension they say that jesus perfected all of his chakras he tuned them all to fit perfectly then causing the rainbow body which then ascended him and if you read the gnostic gospels or you watch gnostic the Gnostic um, practices, they um, they practiced ascending with the rainbow light body. So they would fast. They would they would do these extreme things to, um, to reach ascension quicker. But, you know, Jesus came here as a perfect being because he had aligned the chakras in previous lifetimes. And in this, that lifetime, he came knowing his purpose and just saying, I, I know what I'm here for. I know I'm going to die for everybody. I know I'm going to do this. He knew everything, right? And so, yeah, my heart chakra is going off right now. And so you're going to be like experiencing you know um you're going to be experienced i don't think i would have hit 20 without god and you oh german i love you uh you know german we we are a uh a, a, a extension of god so if god and brought us together it was for a reason it's, we were past life soulmates for sure you know what i mean so god brings people together to heal each other okay and when people are are healing together it's a beautiful thing, man. I'm going to tell you right now. Like, all the connections I have with people, I, I'm so grateful for it. That's why I can never be like, blah. Like, I, it's just too much gratefulness going on. All right, Libra. Let's see what's going on financially here for you. Financially for the Libras. Ooh, wait. Hello, victory. Victory, recognition, opportunities, blessings. Somebody's bringing... Something's taking a little bit of it. It's taking its time a little bit. Um... October, November, December. I'm feeling this for December. December. Something's happening in December. There's some kind of victory here. 
finances with finances coming in oh my oh my something just tickled me right here when i said that there's some kind of victory here like i see you holding your money and, and actually thinking of ways to invest your money um oof, this could be with a partner somebody that you're oh my god the these cards yo spirit is throwing these cards out let me just tell you they are not playing right now oh <gasps> my heart my heart i'm shaking i have the chills all up and down my body all up and down my spine holy camoli papoli something oh my god there's a justice there's a moving forward justice being served somebody's gonna be a boss of a company here i feel like a boss energy somebody's uh oh business is going so spiritually wow 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 Ooh, i'm telling you somebody's gonna meet their twin flame i'm telling you libra don't get it twisted. Your twin flame is on the way. Angels on the way. I just heard. Angels on the way. Like protection on the way. Oh, clearing on the way. There's like a, ne a, a, a negative attachment that you might have felt like you had. But ooh, that shit is clearing up. Hold on to your pentacles. You're, you're going to get some money. Hold on to them. Hold on to them. You know, um, so, uh, you're... Ooh, shit. This energy I'm feeling right now is so vibrant. I'm like, blah, 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 blah. I can't even talk right. I'm like, hey, beady, 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 beady. that's all, folks. Wow, 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 mail it, wow it. I felt like um, Dave Chappelle in the movie um, Half Baked when he finds um, the weed in the hospital and, and he's, he's like, mail it, wow it. Like, he's so excited, like that. Like, you know, imagine the, the metaphor. Like, he, he was excited about the weed, but. You're going to be excited about something way bigger than this. And I'm telling you right now, I, I, I'm i telling you, I'm feeling this. I'm not just seeing it in the cards. I'm feeling it. I can feel it in the air. I can hear it in your voice. I feel it. I can feel it calling in the air tonight. Oh, Lord. I've been waiting for this moment. Oh my life. That's how I feel. <laughs> like that. Like that. Like that. I could feel it, boo. Mm -mm. <laughs> Y'all don't even know. I'm feeling that shit. Hard body right now. Look at that. Stuff. You know what? Oh, oh my God. Yes. Libra, you know, you are about to be blessed with something big here. The Ace of Swords. Look at my middle finger. It's like a fuck you to all the fucking people, places, and things that they don't believe in me. Fuck you. Oh, shit. I gotta go. I gotta get my daughter from school and take her to the dentist. Love and light to you all. I forgot she has a dentist appointment at one today. Gotta take my daughter to the dentist. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go right now. I'm always on the go, 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 go. I'm gonna finish these, this sign right here. Love and light to you guys. I love you guys. You gotta beep, 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 and all that stuff, okay? Well, oh, ooh, yes, yes. Oh, I love you too. I just heard spirits say I love you. Okay. I just heard spirits say I love you. So um, somebody is telling you that they love you on the other side. And I'm with you and I love you and I'm always guiding you and I'm with you and I love you and I'm always guiding you. So hear that. Hear this. Hear that message because it's for you. Okay. Love and light to you guys. I will see you guys later. Let me go get my daughter. Take her to the dentist. And then I'm going to go. Um, ow. 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 And then I don't know. I don't know what I have to do after that. Probably. I'll figure it out. All right. Love and light to you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.